Hey there, Capricorn. It's your gender bender prophet, Jess, coming at you with a weekly forecast for November 4th in 2019. If you would like a personal service, instructions, descriptions, and pricings will be down below in the information box, along, along with links to Facebook and Instagram for daily posts, and uh, Patreon for discounted monthly services like a Netflix, Netflix subscription. This week I'm using The Flower Therapy by Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. And let's see what we have going on for this coming week's energy. I'm going to be continuing the new format of tone, struggle, lesson, outcome. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. You get an extra message. With three cards. So uh, open your arms to receiving. Trust, laughter, reach for the stars. Time to decide emotional healing and magnify your intentions. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Y'all uh, y'all ain't been dreaming as big as you could be. Mm, how about them apples? Y'all ain't dreaming as big as you could be. And so it's time for you to accept in your heart that which you've been afraid of, that which you've been keeping at arm's length for a really long time. Um, this extra message of time to decide emotional healing and magnify your intentions, you are not going to be able to receive that which you want to receive, that you think you have to chase down and create for yourself in the 3D world. Uh-uh. It's time to decide to heal your inner state, your emotional mapping that allows opportunity to come to you. You have to magnify your purity. You have to magnify your true intentions, which is not money. Mm -mm. It's ease. It's love. It's symbiotic relationship, but however, ease, ease really is the word. Okay? It's time to decide <laughs> how to do this, quote unquote, the right way. This emotional healing, this is what makes the world go round. This is what creates worlds. Are you going to magnify running away from this truth? And co-create blocks for yourself over and over and over again? Or are you finally going to flip the switch and magnify your capability to be vulnerable. Because that's what brings about the stuff that will match you. Your vulnerabilities. You have to be brave in exposing your vulnerabilities for an appropriate match to come find you. To be brought to you. Now I just heard several months, about three months, of doing this labor. This internal labor. This emotional labor. Before you can even begin to see the results of the untangling. Of the real flow. Leaving behind a short circuit. Cross wiring. Leaving that behind. Okay, Capricorn. So your struggle is the trust. <laughs> Uh, trust, trust the universe, trust yourself, trust the dark void of the unknown, trust the people around you, especially someone, mm, someone left an impression on you, Capricorn. And you can trust that person. You do not have to define the impression. That's this. That's this. Are you going to insist on your egotistical definition? Or are you going to accept the terms and conditions of this reality? Talk about a retrograde week. The lesson is laughter. Your problems? We are all one source. We are all one soul. Any harm that was done to you, guess what? Spirit is living through you to experience having it be done to them. And spirit is living through them to feel what it's like to do that unto you. This world is a cosmic joke. So don't hold on to things anymore. 
Decide to let ease work in your favor. Decide to find the humor in a situation that you had previously seen as aggravating. That's a great medicine and it will work to your favor. The outcome is reach for the stars. You deserve only the best. And that's what you should put your attention on. And the best is not what you've previously decided, previously allowed. That got you up to this point of unsatisfaction, dissatisfaction. I'm an English writer. <laughs> Whatever, I make up words. You know what I'm saying? Now's the time to decide what would give you satisfaction. Take care. Rock on. I love you for loving yourself. You know where to find me.